Hello, thank you for watching Brandon Socket. Please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. In this video, I want to talk about reporting and the favorites you should have on the right hand side. This list of, I think there's 12, 15 reports. They're the most commonly used reports uh, where I would go when I'm consulting with stores and working on process and results and trying to find the information they're looking for. So in order to get to your reports, I always, again, start in your home dashboard, you're going to want to click on the bar graph on the left hand side and then click on reports. So there's a bunch of different categories that open up and I'll just start from the top and work my way down to the bottom. Under sales, I usually only choose three sales checklist, sales results, and sales tracking. And so you'll notice they pop up on the right hand side. Now, please note the ones with the envelopes mean we, uh, mean we can email them on certain, you know, every Monday, every week, every month. There's some limitations to it, but those are emailable reports. So why would I have the tracking report if I can't email it? This is a Swiss Army knife report. So many different variations you can use to get the information you want, and that's why it's such a valuable report to have on your on your favorites report. Uh, please note as we go through this, I'm going to link each report's video where I go more in depth on that report, and I'll have an actual playlist uh, where you, where I'll just title the report. So there'll be a playlist, but I've also linked it in the description uh, of this video. So moving right along, internet reports. I have quite a few in here. If you have a BDC department, I'm going to click to BDC reports. I'm going to click on email capture and email removal report. I'm also going to go on new leads by source tracking code. Oh, let me click on that. Sorry, new leads by source tracking code and response time by source for sales. I do use a couple like internet ROI. I find that there's a marketing ROI report that does the same kind of thing, but more. So I, I typically look at, at that report. Uh, new lead activity report and new leads by rep. I do use, I use that for certain situations, but it's not a report I look at constantly. When it comes to activity, only three reports. One really is not necessary, but I like to have it there anyway just to show it off, and I'll show you in another video, obviously. Uh, activity summary report, Swiss Army knife to figure out who's doing what. Also works well for your service BDC on different types of calls. Appointment display, I just want to favor, I, you wouldn't favorite it unless you're uh, on reception or you have a TV somewhere where you're going to display this report and we'll go through that later. Appointment report, I would have just to review reports. All right, <clears throat> pardon me. Next, marketing. I'm going to go to campaign ROI, email ROI, email tracking by document and marketing channel ROI. So those are the ones I'm going to favorite there. The only other two that I would, you know, if I have some service ones, I might be looking at service appointments booked, things like that, daily service appointment schedule to, to review it. But we're still working on our service reporting for our service scheduler. Uh, when it comes to other reports, my two, uh, two that I never really knew about for a long time, address capture, great information found in there and user activity report this is I laugh because it's the report where I end up throwing everybody under the bus because it shows some login activities so that's sort of the gist of the reports you're gonna want on your favorites those are the ones you're gonna go to the most those are the put it this way if you call me and say hey I need this information I'm going to reference one of these reports so you might as well have them as your favorites the last report that's not found in any report under the bar graph is found under the My Links called Daily Checkout Report. It's also located within the Sales Dashboard. When you go to the Checkout tab, you can see it. But here's the gist of this report, real quick. Since I'm on it, it just shows daily activities. What did I do today? How many you know activities are left? So again, we'll go more in depth in it and show you around what we can do. I still have to fill more information out and use the tool on this test site. So thanks for watching. I do appreciate it. Please don't forget. Uh, I'd love it if you would like, share, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you soon.